got the grace Lies and every other things are falling into place hello beautiful welcome to another video i finally have the sheen hot comb review for you guys and a big shout out to tinashe hair for sponsoring today's video they sent over this stunning hd ear to ear lace frontal wig it is 26 inches and before we get started with the hot comb review i do want to give you guys all the shipping information I am trying to improve my hair reviews and really make them as detailed as possible for you guys. So this is a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal, 180% density, y'all can see girl, it's full full, okay? And it is 26 inches. This was shipped on the 11th of March and it was delivered on the 23rd of March and there was absolutely no customs, which we love that. There was no customs for my order. Um, delivery to South Africa is $20, which is 300 Rand. This wig costs 5,576.6 at the time that I placed this order. It was ordered on the 11th of March and it was delivered on the 23rd of March. So around about two weeks delivery to South Africa and they used Deepex, um, which is the Korea company and no customs at all. So today I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this look using hair from Tinashe Hair. This is the box that they sent over. Absolutely love this. And you also get a little satin drawstring bag that is branded with the name Tinashe. Inside you get a bonnet, which I actually use this because I've slept in this hair. This hair is not brand new. Um, you also get a pair of lashes, branded Tinashe lashes. And I also got these clips i got this comb and i also got another comb that i use for today's installation so for today's video i'll be reviewing this hair from tinasha hair and showing you guys how i achieved this lovely lovely look while also reviewing the affordable super affordable hot comb from she and so without any further ado let's get right into it and do remember to check the description box for the links for everything that i use so this is the wig we're working with today. It is a lovely 26 inch wig, ear to ear lace frontal. That means there's lace from ear to ear in the front. That's what lace frontal means. For those of you guys who are beginners with wigs. And we've got a hot comb from Shein. Super, super affordable. So I'm really excited to see if it will explode, number one. But also how it works, okay? So this is what it looks like. And we're gonna be customizing the frontal. I have bleached the knots. I use the She 30 volume bleach. And over here is stuff that I should probably read. And then it was covered in foam. And this is what the hot comb looks like. If you guys want to know about customs and shipping and all of that, I have a dedicated wig haul um, showing all the wigs I got from She and, and the tools as well. So it has a power button and then it has 160, 180, 200 and 220. Um, that is the temperature options that you have, which is really, really nice. And then it just has the comb on top. Now, already the quality of this is not the best quality. It feels very plasticky, okay? And then this is the cord. Please make sure when you're purchasing electronics that you get the right plug. This is very important, okay? This is our South African plug. Um, and Shein does have another different type of plug because they deliver worldwide. Okay, so let's get started. Let's plug this in. I really hope it doesn't explode. That's my number one fear. Some of you guys may think that's funny, but I have purchased a lot of electronics internationally. Um, remember when we didn't have ring lights in South Africa? I purchased a ring light and two of those like umbrella lights. I don't know what they're called, but they're like umbrella lights. And the umbrella lights exploded. I'm not joking. They literally exploded. It was scary um, because they were not meant, the voltage was not the right voltage for South Africa. But the ring light worked. So that's why I'm saying I hope it doesn't explode. I'm not just saying that for fun. I'm saying that because I have purchased electronics internationally and I know what it's like when an electronic explodes. Okay, so it does have a swivel cord, which is a really, really nice feature as well. And you're able to use this part over here to rest it on the table so that when it's cooling down, it doesn't burn the table. That's also a really great feature. I hope this works because this would be great for those of you guys who are on a budget just to have something affordable um, to style your wigs. If you have a frontal, a hot comb is a must have. So I've plugged it in, but I've not switched it on. And maybe I should not be holding it because, you know, if it explodes, it will explode in my hand. Um, so let's switch it on. 
I did read some of your comments. Two people said they've purchased this hot comb. I don't know if it's the exact hot comb, but they have hot combs from Shein and they love it. One of the ladies has had it for over a year and she says it's great. Okay, so you switch it on here. My word, I'm, I'm literally shaking. Okay, it's on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a red dot. So how do I choose the temperature? Uh, oh, okay. So if you want to choose the temperature, you press it longer. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay, this doesn't make sense. It should be separate for the different temperatures. So normally if you have a hot comb like this, and you want it to get to 220, you have your on button and then you have like a dial or something else that allows you to take the temperature higher. So this is a hot comb that I actually purchased on Amazon. You guys can see what the plug looks like. Remember when we didn't have hot combs in South Africa, I used to be a working hairstylist and I would import the best tools and products for my students. Whatever I saw about pick meal and like the bold hold team using, I would import it like I was spending so much money on hair products so I imported this years ago it's still working you guys can see it has an on and off button and then over here it has a dial where you can choose the temperature that's what the she in one should have all right so let's take the temperature up let's attempt to take it up because now it's just power on Okay, and it's a bit hot. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't touch your hot comb with your fingers. I don't know how to take the temperature up. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to take the temperature up. It's just 160. I want to take it to 220. Important safeguards. When using electrical appliances, blah, 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 blah. Danger, blah, 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 blah. Warning, blah, 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 blah. Save these instructions. This appliance is intended for hard holes. Use only... Oh, this comb has automatic dual voltage. It can be used at voltages ranges from 120 to 240 volts AC. As an added safety feature, this iron will automatically shut off after one hour. Very important, fantastic feature. To use the press and comb, it contains a power switch and three indicator lights stand for the different temperature levels, which are 160, 180, 200, and 220 degrees. Press the power button switch one time. The number one indicator will design to flash and remain on as the comb heats up, which the temperature is on 160 degrees level. Each time you press, the temperature will reach to a higher level of temperature with the indicator light flashing together and the comb stay on heat. Huh? But my thing is, these other ones, you can't press them. So it has the pink, the black, and then the pink again, but you can't press them. I'm going to have to figure this out. How do I get it to take it up? And how do I switch it off? This is not giving me temperature adjustment button. How? It's it's saying that there are three buttons, but the three the three levels. So there's the pink, there's the black, there's the pink again. You can't press them. Wait. Oh, it's on 220. What did I do? Huh? Okay, I have no idea what I did. Oh! So you, you, you what? what? What did I press? Okay, so somehow you press here, but it's weird because when I click on this and I click, okay, so this on button, this pink part, in case somebody else has purchased this, this pink part, if you click the top of it, so this circle one in the center, click the top of it, it'll take the temperature higher. Just click lightly. If you click the center of it, it takes you back to one. Okay, I don't know what I did because that doesn't make sense. Now I'm clicking it there. Guys, I don't know if you've had this hot comb longer than me. Let me know because I really don't understand how the temperature adjustment works. But either way, now we are at 220 and we're going to get started. So they did provide a comb in, as part of the order of the wig. And I'm just going to get started. I think we will start out on this side, just like that. And what I'm going to do is we'll start here at the top. I'm going to take my She Wax Stick. This is from my company, the South African Hair Emporium. And I'm just going to apply it. This is very important, guys. I'm going to apply it here in the front. And then 
I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm just going to do that, right? Just straightening the front so I can see what I have to work with. Moving on to this part here. Just going to comb it and leave the comb right there. And I'm just going to do that. The reason I'm using this wig from Tinashe and not a wig from Shein is because I need a really high quality wig. I'm scared that the Shein frontal wigs, the lace might be bad quality and it might melt. And I don't want that. I want us to fully test this hot comb out. So you guys can see I over bleached a bit, but I did that on purpose. Girl, I want, I want to kill this. I had another curly frontal, but that hair was rubbish from another company. So this for me is me finally showing you guys what I wanted to achieve. And I'm so happy that they allowed me to review this hair because this hair is relevant. We're going into winter, it is winding, and curly hair is the one for this weather. Oh, I'm scared of burning myself. So the hot comb is definitely working which is great you guys can see how that looks let me hold it like that and this is the great thing about the swivel cord you're able to navigate really well which is really like it's so important when you're working with frontals to have a hot comb that allows you to to freely move it's really important and really helpful as well okay so I'm gonna customize one side and then we're going to come back I'm gonna come back and show you guys the results the wig is a bit customized but not to the level that I want I want this to look so realistic like I want it to look crazy I want to give it that salon finish okay so you really just want to clean up the hairline, make sure it is as flat as possible. And your wax stick and your hot comb is going to allow you to achieve that. I will leave the link for the, for the wax stick and the hot comb in the description and also for this wig from Tanasha Hair. So it's time to customize. I'm going to leave this hot comb on while I customize in case I need to use it. And I'm just going to use my tweezer to really get in there. Okay, so I'm going to customize this and I'll come back and show you guys the final result. So guys, I actually lied to you guys. I ended up customizing the entire frontal of the wig so this is what it looks like i really really wanted to customize it really nicely because um this is an hd lace wig an hd ear to ear lace frontal which means like this is like really transparent lace you guys can literally see me through and then i also used my foundation okay so i'm gonna cut the lace at the back and then while we install this we'll talk about this hot comb from shein and the things that I discovered. So at the back of the lace, right here, there's some lace. You don't have to tint this lace. You just cut it off like that. You don't have to be perfect. You can just literally chop it off. And then in the front, what we're going to do is we're gonna start off by folding it in half like that so we can get our center. And then I'm just going to nip it over here, just like that so that we have our center. Guys, the way this is such high quality, you can barely see it, but this is our center over there. And I've got a wig cap on. Tanasha Hair does give you guys a wig cap. And I'm just going to put it on so we can see how it looks. It does have combs in it as well. I just wanna see how it looks and carve out the ear tab part. I think I'm not gonna use uh, wig cap because you can very clearly see it uh, because this is such high quality lace yeah I you know, I cannot use a wig cap 
Okay. Okay, so the ear tab part on this side, I'm sure you guys can see it's a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go round my ear. I've got my mirror here. I'm so sorry, guys, if you cannot see. I do not have the best vision. So I normally don't like to film my installation because I can't really see. So I'm going to cut off this ear tab part. Then I'm going to put it back on and cut the other side as well. This is the first ear tab. So I'm going to take off my wig cap and have this sitting on my head. I'm one of those people that installs it with the lace cut. I don't cut the lace on my head. I cut it first and then I glue it on. But you guys can see why I don't want to wear a wig cap because you can literally see that line over there. So it's time to install this wig, but before I put it on my head right now, it does not have any glue. You guys can see how good it looks. This means you could actually have a glueless installation where there's absolutely no glue. But before I did this, I did clean my hairline with alcohol and a cotton pad. And then I also used our skin shield. This protects your skin from the glue because we're using a very strong professional wig glue okay and i've taken off the wig cap cap so i'm just going to slide this back we're going to start with this front section over here there are two sizes of this wig glue i'm using the larger one the size is just for you like how much you want um how much product you want but they're exactly the same there are two sizes of this and i'll leave the link for this glue in the description box it is one of the products from my company so you want to use a very small amount this is a professional wig glue if you're not a professional, please do not use this because you have to know what you're doing when you're using this. This is like, this is a very, very high quality, super strong glue and it is not for beginners. So please, this is not like a got to be glued. This is a glue where you can have your wig on for weeks. Okay, this is a very, very serious glue and you can have a... Uh, a day of installation, two days, a week, two weeks, three weeks. You can have a very long-term installation according to the amount of layers that you are applying on. Okay, so let's talk about the hot comb while this dries. Actually, I think these people have... This is the bag that comes with your order. Yeah, they do have a weight cap inside, so I'm just going to use that. Okay, but this is going to make a noise. So the hot comb from Shein, it does work but it's not high high quality like you really need to have a high quality hot comb to achieve fantastic results however i recommend it for those of you guys who are on a budget who are just getting started but if you're going to be a hairstylist it's just not cutting it as i was working it comes to a point where it's at the highest temperature and all of a sudden it's just like it's like it changes temperature so i don't know what's going on maybe i don't understand the settings but also it just does not compare to a proper hot comb. So some of you guys who have this hot comb from Shein, maybe you don't know what a high quality hot comb looks like. So because it looks the same, like the shape and everything, and it heats up, but trust me, I'm a hairstylist. I've been doing hair for a long time. I used to be a working hairstylist where I'd have clients. This does not compare. So I got frustrated and I used my own hot comb. I stopped using the Sheen hot comb. But for beginners, it's really good, especially at this price point. However, it is just not the same. I don't know if any of you guys have ever purchased those cheap um, straighteners from like Dragon City and like China Mall. And then if you've ever had um, a GHD or like a really high quality straightener, you know they're not the same. Even when people see my videos and they see like the straightener that I use, which is from like one of our suppliers on the beauty business supply list, people are like, what straightener are you using? Because it really is high quality. These things are not the same. The same with hair. The reason why I decided to test the hot comb with this lace frontal from Tinashe Hair is because they sell really high quality hair and this lace is HD hair. There's a hair review that I filmed a long time ago where the lace was literally melting. That is so dangerous. Now, I don't normally use a hot comb when I have the wig on my head. I style my wigs before putting it on my head. But if you were to be one of those people who uses a hot comb on your head, and a lot of hairstylists do that, they use hot combs on people's heads. 
I just don't want anybody burning from the steam. You know, people get scared when they use a hot comb on them. Sometimes it's just psychological and sometimes you literally are burning your client. Um, so I don't like using hot combs on people's heads. But those who do use hot combs on people's heads, imagine if the lace is poor quality and it melts. That is melting on a person's actual skin. Like you're going to have to go to the ER for that, you know. So I did not want to test this hot comb from Shein with some cheap hair. Um, that's why I'm not using any cheap hair. I'm using hair from Tanache Hair. And this is really, really good quality hair. So I'm going to install this. And then once I'm done and I've done my makeup, I am going to show you guys how this hot comb works in terms of the temperature adjustment. Because I struggled to figure that out for quite some time. The instructions are not clear. And even when you look at it, it doesn't really make sense. So I will show it to you guys once I am done with this installation. I'm just going to wait for this glue to dry. You guys can see on this side, it's already clear. Just waiting for this side to clear up a bit. And I'm not wearing a wig cap underneath. Um, but Tinashe Hair does provide wig caps as well. But I'm not wearing a wig cap underneath. I want you guys to really see. Once you style your hair properly using good quality products and tools, it looks flawless. Absolutely Flawless. So guys, it is actually the next day. I slept in this hair and that's the great thing about using a professional wig glue is that you can actually sleep in the hair and you guys can see the hair is pretty long. Let me see if I can stand up for you guys. The hair is pretty, pretty long. It is 26 inches. Okay, so the hot comb, I wanted to show you guys how it actually works, even though I stopped using it because the quality is just not there. So you're going to press and it's going to power on. Then you're going to long press and it's going to go to the lowest setting, which is 160. And then you're going to gently press here at the top, not long press, just press like that and it will go up all the way up till to 20 so it's it's not clear in the instruction booklet well at least for me it was not clear um, but you can actually change the setting and that's how the settings work for this hot comb in particular Shein does have this thing where they will have a specific item available then it'll sell out and they'll have another hot comb and it might not be this brand mine is the c-r-a-s-t-s -S brand um, crusts something like that okay so I'm gonna quickly change my lip I feel like it's making my face look very oily and then I'll come back and give you guys my thoughts on this hair and my final thoughts on this hot comb all right guys so this is the final look I absolutely love how this hair turned out so I've literally just tied it up over there nice little pony there and then i've got my little two pieces here i didn't cut them because i'm not sure if i want to wear it a lot like this like i said we are moving into winter it is super windy and i don't want to be you know walking around with hair in my face all the time so we'll see how it behaves today so thank you so much to tanasha hair for sponsoring today's video and making today's video possible i just want to reiterate that the hot comb from shein absolutely works it definitely works this is great for beginners but if you're a hairstylist or you're an influencer or a content creator and you're constantly working with hair i do not recommend it it's great for starting but there are levels to these things guys i think sometimes some people innocently do not know that these levels to these tools so they'll tell you that no it's the same as people who are selling it for like a thousand rand or people who are selling it for like 400 rand and it's not the same thing there are different qualities to hairstyling tools and i'm telling you guys this as a hairstylist who's been working as a hairstylist for a very long time and oh please guys if you are looking for the best of the best, you're a hairstylist, you're working with hair a lot, go purchase a quality hot comb. This is not a quality hot comb. Um, you can use it if you just wear frontals here and there. It's great for beginners and it's good as a backup in case one of your styling tools um, does get tired. Um, but honestly, it is not the best quality it's great for beginners okay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys in my next video bye i got too much grace i got too much grace yeah i got the grace i got the grace yeah. lines and every other things are falling into place